a number of people have emailed me to ask exactly how are you praying aloud for nearly 60,000 people. We thought it was 50,000 when we got the record. It was actually nearly 60,000 friends of Faith and Action. And my commitment was to pray for each one audibly, out loud, verbally in my prayers, not just to skim over you know, a long list. And I'll explain exactly how I'm doing that. In my prayer time here at this fishing retreat, I'm in southern Louisiana, beautiful area, very quiet. I'm all alone and in, uh, in my second day of fasting, so if I'm a little scrambled in my speech, you'll understand my blood sugar is like at an all-time low. But this is what I've been doing, is taking passages of scripture like this one from Philippians and framing prayer periods. And I read the scripture, for example, from Philippians chapter 1, verses 2 through 7, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, making request for you all with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ, just as it is right for me to think of this, uh, to think this of all of you, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and the confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. Paul is saying, I'm thanking God for you because we're in this together. We're in this work of the gospel together, and that's exactly how I feel about all these friends of faith and action. We have records of everybody who has prayed for us, sent us an encouraging word, shared with us generously in their financial support, signed one of our petitions or anything, so watch out, we keep records of all this. And I take this passage and passages like it from both the Old and New Testaments, use it to frame my prayer time and to kind of set the tone of my prayers, and then I go to the list, which I have right up on the screen of the same laptop that I'm using now, and I call out to God in thanksgiving for each one, for Robbie, for Fern, for Patsy, for David, Fonda, George, Mary, and Michelle, for Wendy, Christina, Linda, Lawrence, Michael, and Joe. And I can see the whole record here. I can see first and last names, although I don't use the last name, uh, both to ensure privacy and it's something like this, as well as to conserve time. But I can see the whole record and where this person is from and how long they've been with us. And I just keep calling out the names to God for William, Russell, Shirley, and Rebecca, for Tom and Francesca and Cheryl, and I keep going.